I, I always think the one good advice you give to any artist is don't listen to anyone else. How is that with, with your, you're married or you're mm. living together with a... Mm. Married, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that, do, do these things fit together? Yeah, easily. Easily. Your wife's in the same... No, she's, she's a, a visual artist, um, but uh, it's just, it, you have to not separate your life from, from touring. Music can seem like it's a dream life and a fantasy world and you're touring and going through loads of different countries and uh, sometimes that can seem like it's the exciting part of life and then the home life is the quiet, dull, boring bit. But I don't want to separate those, so I want to I take uh, my life on the road, so this all seems like it's the real thing, and and she's happy to come on the road, and and we have we have quite a, 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 a nice life. It's not a settled life, it's not a stable life, but it's uh, it's one that we both understand. Really. Is it for you now that you you're talking about maybe going to a new place, mm. finding a little bit more quiet area? Mm. Would that also be maybe, maybe because you want to stabilize that part, of, of, or is that? I want. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, I want it's it revolves really around the work. I want to stabilize an element of my life so I can still go off and do these adventures and go off and tour, but come back and work and come back and write because there's an element of of feeding the fire of of the songwriting and wanting to put ideas in and see the world and experience stuff. But then you have to go and do the work. You have to sit down and write the songs and record them. And and I think especially when I was younger, you can confuse the romanticism of the way of life with the actually doing the good work. And I would rather now try and get good at what I do with the remaining time I have, you know. Yeah, you did the recordings for your latest album mostly by yourself, mm. if I'm correct. Mm. Um, you work with a computer, I assume? Yeah, I'm a big Pro Tools fan. Yeah. At what stage, when you start writing a song, or in what creative stage do you switch on the computer? Uh, really very, very early on. I, um, I use it to structure the songs a lot, so that I'll sit there and as soon as I've got an idea, that a melody and a lyric that work together, I'll, even if it's just garage band, I'll, I'll record it so that I can hear it back. Because you can go for a long time thinking a song's amazing until you actually hear it back and go, oh, that sucks. So um, I record it really quickly and sometimes parts of that initial recording go into the final thing. Um, so I always try and have a have the song worked out in enough of a way, so should that recording be the one, then it's fine, you know. What does it change then when you have to do all these things together instead of maybe just focusing on playing the guitar or mm. singing your lines? I mean, you now obviously have also have to listen if it's if it's all right and maybe change. I mean, is that yeah. change your working process then? Not really, I mean, that's kind of how I've always done it. And I've always been very involved with the recording, even though I've not, you know, sat down and engineered it all um, up until this record but for me it always has to revolve around a central performance of something either a vocal performance or a guitar led thing or something that that feels like it's live and fresh and because I know exactly how I want it to go I can then add bits and pieces so even if I've done it to a click track I can add drums I can add whatever and build it up and then it's a, I liken it to painting. It's a lot like putting a lot of paint on the canvas and then scraping it away after a while and then trying to get that balance right between what you started with as the raw song and then how you wanted to flesh it out. But it, there, there's, no, there's no kind of formula for it. It's all, every song is different. Every song is, it's always a struggle to make it work. Do, do you remember maybe in the period where you used to work with producers, is there some advice that they gave you that you still apply to your work now? No, nope. um, I, I always think the one good advice you give to any artist is don't listen to anyone else because you don't know they know what, or you are, you're the only one that knows what you want. And uh, and I have worked with some brilliant people and some idiots, and uh, and I've learned a lot from them. But the one thing I've learned all through is just trust yourself, and if you can get some skill at the technical side of it, the recording and the mixing, then that will help you. But um, for me, for me, it's just about capturing performance. And really, that's all any good producer will ever do, is enable you to feel comfortable enough to get the best performance from you. Do you have always been confident about your work? No, no. completely the opposite. Mm -hmm. Which is why I, I, I obsessively take control, because uh, I know that I do a couple of things really well but I'm pretty rubbish at most of the rest of it. So I want to take the time and effort to get better at those things and to pick the right moments and to make the right choices so that I can spin this very 
thin talent into something more. You know?